we just arrived at our first campsite for the night. It'll be right here, right next to the road. Beautiful view. This is day one, road cruising the Mojave Desert. Yeah, we can take a close look at our glossy snake found in the Mojave. Pretty docile snake, very good looking. Alright, release of the glossy snake. Oh, the western banded gecko chilling on my arm. Get him to run. Right, let's get him to run into the... away from the road. Here we see the chukwala in its natural habitat. So this chukwala is actually the second largest lizard found in this, in the Mojave Desert. And it's an herbivore, so it eats only plants. The chukwala has an interesting defense mechanism of running into rocks, rock crevices, and then puffing itself up so predators can't get it out. But Native Americans used to puncture them with sharp sticks in order to extract them and eat them. Yum. Oh, are you kidding me? Bro, we found another crevice? Is he in there? Yeah, he inflated. When the wind blows the grass, it leaves circular patterns in the sand. French toad lizard tracks. This is the Mojave fringe toad lizard, and this is a very unique lizard that is specialized to live life in areas with fine wind-blown sand. And this lizard has a very limited range and it's threatened by off-road vehicle activity and by habitat destruction. Okay. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> he's, no, he's, he's by your shoe, he's by your shoe. Oh my. So fast. Alright, get ready. Three, two, one, go. Got him, got him, got him. Nice. Holy cow, he's so squirming. Let him chill out a bit. So if we look up close at the toes, you can see why this is called a fringe toed lizard. Its longest toe actually is lined with fringes which help it run on the sand and bury itself. Doing push ups to establish dominance. Okay, road cruising, day two, and this is the first snake of the night. Almost missed it because we were messing with cruise control. Alright. Okay, so we just set cruise control and we've already found this massive Mojave green rattlesnake. Now, this species is Far more toxic than the Sidewinder and more aggressive as well. So we'll give it a wide berth and observe it from a distance. This is a very large one as well. So the Mojave Green Rattlesnake is unique in that it actually has both hemotoxic and neurotoxic venom, which is part of why his venom is so deadly. So hemotoxic attacks the tissues while neurotoxic attacks the nervous system. Go for a three, two, one. Oh, are you kidding me? Side blotched lizard. Great base and whip tail. Chukwala. This is the desert spiny lizard. Colored lizard. Here we have a golden eagle. Okay, so we flipped this drain, or irrigation thing. We have a whiptail, a banded gecko, and a scorpion. Scorpion's kind of hard to see, it's underneath. You can see the tail right here. Now we're gonna catch all of them. He's getting kind of pissed. What? <laughs> right. We caught this scorpion. Very cool. Inside a ramen cup. 
Oh, it squeaked. That's cute. Okay, maybe we should break up this one. Okay, yeah, well, I'm gonna grab the whip tail. This is the only way we probably could have caught a whip tail. It's insanely fast. All right, you wanna release him? Sweet, there he goes. We actually have two banded geckos. They vary a bit in color. We have one over here too. Damn, this is so cool. Okay, we just found this desert night lizard. Day three of road cruising. Our first snake of the night. It's quite a shame. Dead on road Mojave rattlesnake. We just found this dead kangaroo rat. Our second dead kangaroo rat of the night. Okay, the second snake of this, the night is this dead glossy snake. 